New tonight, popular smartphones like the Apple iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy are pretty pricey. They can run at least $600 for a new one. And trying to keep up with the newest models being introduced almost every year can break the bank. CBS4 anchor Walter McCalla looks at the new trend of leasing versus buying. With the help of new payment plans being introduced by all the major carriers, now deciding whether to get the latest model upgrade isn't the only big decision to make. We're also asking ourselves, should I buy or lease? The interesting thing is, is that while we want the latest and greatest, only 10% of consumers right now will give up their phone within a year. Delia Passi is a consumer advocate watchdog, and she says that's because if having the latest tech gadget in your pocket is important to you, your final decision is usually based on price and your budget. While the opportunity is great to upgrade, you know, you have to look at the pricing structure to make sure it works for you. For example, let's take AT&T. They have a Next program. That's not a lease program. It's an installment program. The biggest benefit with the lease program is you have the option of upgrading to a newer phone model, usually after just a year. You don't get that option when you buy. But with the lease program, although it may be cheaper, you have to return the phone at the end of the agreement or when you upgrade and can't pass it off to your child or sell it. So rather than leasing, buying may be a better option. And if you can't make that big payment up front to purchase the smartphone, ask about an installment plan. Most companies offer them now. So you get these payments, but you end up owning the phone at the end. And that's a good thing, because when you get a new phone, you can sell the old one and recoup some of your investment, sometimes for as much as 400 bucks. But Passy warns, before you sign on the dotted line, you need to ask yourself a few more questions. Am I paying for that phone month after month? And then when I go to upgrade, there's maybe a small charge, but if I try to change carriers, a huge fee at the end, or when I want to um, purchase the phone at the end, there's another upcharge. And be aware of deals that sound too good to be true. She says, before you walk in the store, do your homework. The first thing is, don't make your decision at the store. Spend the time before you walk into a store, because at the store you're going to be faced with a salesperson who's going to be you know, aggressive in trying to talk to you about all these plans. They could be overwhelming for most people. Once you tie into that contract, that's it. You're stuck, and you could be stuck for years. Walter McCalla, CBS4 News Tonight.